Prepare the insertion site in accordance with your policies or protocol. Prior to attaching the EasyConnect extension set, perform the following steps to prepare the infusion system. Open the clamp. Attach female adapter to the syringe or IV tubing. Prime extension set with saline or 2% preservative-free and epinephrine-free lidocaine and purge air. Note, the sternal locator must be used when placing the Talon needle set into the sternum. Remove the sternal locator needle cap and pull tab 1. Align the curve in the top of the sternal locator with the suprasternal notch. Seat the depth probes of the sternal locator on the surface of the sternum by pressing down firmly with both hands. Firmly press down the adhesive tape while holding the sternal locator in place. Pull tab 2 to expose the adhesive to the bottom half of the sternal locator and press down the remaining adhesive tape. Remove and discard the Talon needle set safety cap, ensuring the stylet will be tightly screwed together with the catheter prior to insertion. Do not touch the Talon needle with your hand or fingers. Gently insert the Talon needle tip into the cone at the center of the sternal locator with the needle at a 90 degree angle to the bone until it seats on the bone. Penetrate bone cortex by rotating clockwise while applying gentle, steady downward pressure, which equates to 10 to 15 pounds of pressure, or 5 to 7 kilograms. Stop the insertion process upon entry into the medullary space when a click is felt or heard as the talon needle hub locks into the sternal locator hub. Do not rock or bend during insertion. Hold the hub in place while twisting the stylet off the hub with counterclockwise rotations. Place the stylet into a sharps container. Attach the primed Easy Connect extension set and tighten with a firm push and twist motion to engage lower lock collar to prevent accidental disconnection. Aspirate for blood or bone marrow to confirm placement and flush the talon needle catheter with 5 to 10 milliliters of normal saline. If unable to aspirate, attempt a flush. Checking for extravasation, a sign of incorrect placement. Consider attempting to aspirate again after the flush. No flush equals no flow. Failure to appropriately flush the talon needle catheter may result in limited or no flow. Repeat the flush as needed. Once the talon needle catheter has been flushed, administer fluids or medications using pressure as indicated. Frequently monitor the insertion site for extravasation and hold the talon needle system components firmly in place on patients during transfer. To remove the catheter, peel back the sternal locator adhesive tape from the chest. Remove the Easy Connect extension set tubing and attach a lower lock syringe. Continuously rotate clockwise the syringe and the catheter, not the sternal locator, while slowly and gently pulling the talon away from the patient. Do not rock or bend the catheter during removal, and once removed, immediately place the catheter and the sternal locator in an appropriate sharps container.